Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here, and this is going to be week number 8 of the UBL, and we are up against Jay and his Atlanta Victinis. Now, this is going to be a really, really tough one. Jay is currently the number one seed. There's nobody who's played out a better season so far than he has, and it's going to be incredibly, incredibly tough. I'm chilling in the, in the middle seeds, and I'm pretty confident that I can get out of here with a playoff spot, but I really do want this one. I really do want to take out the number one seed and go on to kind of make it a season from there but we're gonna get right into team preview okay we are here and i'm gonna take a screenshot of the team but we will see the dragapult zapdos keldeo scissor mudsdale and opsune okay wow 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 okay super quickly i really expected the Weezing to come and i said up and down that i really did not expect the opsune to come either but i really really expected the galar Weezing to want to come in this match that blows me away that honestly blows me away everything else i think i expected this is actually, okay, so so I did play one mock, which I normally don't do, but I played one with Razor Claw, and he brought, I believe, the exact same six. But it blows my mind, the six that I'm seeing here. Okay. I kind of want to lead off with the Cinderace. I kind of want to lead off with the Cinderace. I kind of want to lead off with this. Hmm, honestly, I honestly have no idea. I am kind of afraid of a Dragapult lead, but I'm really not seeing it in this type of matchup. Although, I guess if it if it comes to it, I guess we just see whatever happens, right? I guess we just see whatever happens and we kind of play this one out. This is going to be a super duper tough one, especially now that I'm kind of in this and looking at, at all these matchups. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I kind of expected this a lot of this six, especially after kind of seeing the way they work together in action. But I really did expect the the obstacle to want to not come and instead yeah there's the there's the dragon hole lead. I really did think that the that a gallery wheezing would want to come in in its place. So let me just see do do I go down to a banded dragon hole? I would expect. Oh my god! I don't even think there's a default. Bans it. Uh, I do go down if this thing is banded. Just straight up. But I don't think you ever do that. I think I'm fine to U-turn. I really don't want to get uh, static on. But if it comes to... Wow, okay. Withdraws right away. I am kind of mildly... um, What's the word? Uh, Bluffing Scarf here. But yeah, that was just a hard bluff on my part. I think what this allows me to do... I mean, this, this definitely allows me to do this. I wish I had U-turn on this set, but it was really tough to justify. It was really tough to justify. I could, I honestly don't even mind firing off a, a hurricane here. Is there a switch worth making here? Probably not. I think every time I just try to get some damage off somewhere, right? But I wouldn't be surprised. I think the Zapdos comes in every time. I think I just go go and do kind of the standard set of plays, going out in, into Gigalith, getting rocks up, and then and then trying to bait in the Weather Ball on another come around here. But that is still a lot of damage. This thing could be offensive, maybe. But we're going to make kind of the play here. Let me just see here. Zapdos. Uh... This is really okay. This is this is too this is too fast paced er, early on for me to be calving every turn. I want, kind of want to be kind of more focused in on this, on what's happening here. So let's see. Goes for a rain dance. Wow, that is very that is a very very strong play. That is a very very strong play. But I don't think anything really stops me from getting rocks up here, right? That is a very very strong play. I think rocks are super important. Yeah, rocks are definitely super important. I did run a handful of pregame counts, and rocks are going to be super important. Uh, but regardless, I think... Oh, I'm going to get weatherballed on, aren't I? I think I get... Oh, no, I don't. He withdraws. That's super duper interesting. Because that this. That's fine. That's mostly fine. It's really not fine, but I guess we kind of manage here. What do I do? This thing is really my only super specially defensive mon here. And I would normally do something like this, but I really don't want to make myself softer to a really like strong banded 
Dragapult here? I think I have to do this, though. I think if nothing else, I double back into Gigalith and try to make some things happen that way. I'd probably click Toxic on the following turn, right? Because he probably just doesn't go out into Scizor ever. But I think this is just a play that I kind of have to make. And I guess we will see the Surf here. What is this thing called? Kelio? It does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. I think that's probably just... Uh, it's probably just Timid Leftovers. But I wouldn't put anything past this type of set. Let's see. Oh, this probably isn't even super duper offensive. I do want to take a second account just because this was super unexpected for me. He really caught me if, if this is kind of what he thought that I was going to kind of want to do here. But I still have a big, big opportunity to, to catch the... To catch the Zapdos at some point. I think, if anything, I'd probably make another switch back into Tornadus here. And maybe go for the Weather Ball now. Maybe I just do that, right? It's as worth it as anything else I could be doing, right? Um, but let's see here. I think it's about as worth it as, any, as anything else I could be doing. But yeah, this should just be a really offensive... It should be a really offensive Keldeo. I can honestly make this play. Surf should do a lot of damage, but I still think this is always going to be worth it. Especially if I can kind of force some kind of a switch here. Maybe I should have gone for Toxic? I don't know. It's tough to say. But I think now is going to be the moment where I go, where I just kind of go for it with Weather Ball because I think if there's any turn that I was going to be able to make this play possible, it's going to be now. Uh, it doesn't do quite as much as I would have thought, but still does just a ton, right? And I think, yeah, like I said, if there was any moment where I was going to catch him, it's going to be right now. And I think he's feeling, I think he feels safe enough because he saw how much damage Hurricane does, and it's about a 2 KO, but it means that I have to land two consecutive hits. And I think. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else, right? If there was any moment where this is going to work, it's going to be right now. It's going to be right now. Do we catch it? I think we catch it. Oh, this is so stressful. In sand. That does it. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. That frees up my, my Gigalith a ton. Um, That just frees up a ton for me. It honestly frees up my my sand slash a ton, right? Goes into this. I could go into my standard. Oh, this could also be defog. That's a thing to think about as well. However, I think I just go into my standard play here, and this always kind of just lets me fault switch because. Yeah, I think this just does... This just gives me all, all the options that I need. Um, if you were to click U-turn now, that'd be unfortunate. Yeah, I could just go for the bullet punch. It's totally fair. Um, this originally was meant to be... This originally was meant to be Rocky Helmet, but it was kind of tough to justify after some testing, especially if he gets up rocks himself, and especially because the mud still makes that super-duper possible. I honestly kind of want to click Energy Ball right now. Would that be just crazy? Energy Ball prevents rocks, actually, because Energy Ball should be a 2 KO. And I honestly kind of just want to do it. Right? It has to be the proper play, because he clicks U-turn every time, right? Goes for the U-turn. We have to... I mean, I couldn't imagine any other play. I truly couldn't. He gets a crit off, which is unfortunate. But if I catch... If, if I catch the... If I catch the Mudsdale coming in, then this is just always the play that I was meant to make, right? I just couldn't imagine any other play. Because Volt Switch was such an impotent play, and, and but but also Volt Switch gets off a ton of damage off of anything else, right? And it just gives me so much momentum. Okay, especially him knowing that I'm so that I'm so especially defensive goes out into the dragon. Wow, okay, okay, okay. I do want to check on how many turns of sand are left. But yeah, now that he knows that I'm willing to, to click energy ball, that definitely frees me up later in the game because 
it does kind of... I actually have to take a second. I don't want to take up too much time, but I think I have to see what kind of damage Dragapult is potentially doing here. Uh, if it's Dragon Darts against Vigavolt, can I... I can't, I can't roost on this. And that sucks. That sucks. I probably have to do this. If he clicks U-turn, that's super unfortunate. But if he, but also if he clicks U-turn, then he was giving me a very phenomenally free roost. But yeah, I just have to do this. There's no way around it, unfortunately. Goes for a Willow. Okay, 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 okay. Interesting, interesting. I think from here, I for sure click Wish. Right? This thing could be special, although it seems it just seems so unlikely, right? It just seems so unlikely. I think I click wish every time and then I make my determination off based on whatever wants to come in. Scizor is super duper problematic if that wants to come in. I suppose so is Mudsdale, right? Just for the U-turn. If the scissor does come in... Uh, if the scissor does come in... Then I do take a hit with Vickable to, to get myself back up, I think. But it's also problematic just because... Uh... Actually, I should even take a knockoff, right? I should even take a knockoff. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, well, I know it's not Life Orb, so that helps out a ton. I think I should take any hit with Vickable. And getting Vickable up healthy is going to be huge. And even if he wants to take advantage of me and, and, and U-turn, uh, I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I take any hit here, and I have to take the opportunity. I have to take this opportunity. And now I think that he, now that he knows that I'm willing to collect Energy Ball in this scenario, I think I have to click uh, Volt Switch. I think I have to click Volt Switch. Yeah, just because for the U-turn, that's fair. Uh, but just getting up healthy is so huge for me. Even it might even mean that I can stay in against Dragapult and click Volt Switch. Right? Because let's say. Uh, if this thing is adamant darts, I now absolutely take a hit. And it's left over, so it's nothing crazy. This set even... Th the default set even assumes Dragon Fang. But yeah, I just take any hit here. I can roost up on this. And then Volt Switch. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense to me. Was for a hex. Okay, 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 okay. Definitely expected. Definitely expected. Aromatisse to want to come in. But now that I know, now that I have more of a feel for what this set is, he probably tries to get a Will O Wisp off on me, right? Probably tries to get a Will O Wisp off on me. So what does that mean for me? What does that mean for me? It means I could Volt Switch could Volt Switch. It means this thing is going to be super huge for me. I could go into this. Uh, it's not great. I probably just stay in and click Volt Switch. It's going to hurt me for later on in the game, but now knowing that this thing is probably, is probably a super aggressive hex set, it probably means that... It probably means that... My Romatisse is no longer a real, like, hard wall to this thing, so... More importantly, it means that, uh... More importantly, it means that... It, it means that... That thing is sackable. How do I play this now? I think I have to... Go no, because I just get will o -Wisp. Probably do this, right? Uh, let me see. If I 
try to just hit this thing with Cinderace. I'm not doing quite enough, but I do, I do threaten Sucker Punch. Yeah, I think I have to threaten Sucker Punch here. I think I have to threaten Sucker Punch here. Uh, what is possible? Um, Keldeo could come in. It could be my moment to Zen Headbutt. That makes as much sense as anything else, in all honesty. That makes as much sense as anything else. And honestly, if, if the Keldeo goes down, that is... That is a next level of huge. Keldeo going down is... Bonkers huge. But I also don't want to take too much damage on my team. I don't know. It's super duper tough. It's super duper tough. What would want to come in here? I don't think Scizor ever really wants to come in. The horse, maybe. What does the horse look like? Goes for darts. Okay, okay. Uh, we take two. Well, we... Ugh. That's dubious. I think we have to. I don't know how to play this. I'll be honest, I don't know how to play this. I think I have to do this. And then that'll allow me to... This will allow me... If I could somehow get a wish back in a Cinderace, and that would be huge. Um, but instead, this thing comes in. I'm probably gonna get. I'm probably gonna get a. Uh, what's that? What's that thing called? Uh, heavy slam on potentially. But I think he's gonna prioritize rocks a ton more, right? I think if anything, he might know that I'm banded, right? Uh, I would be surprised if he didn't at this point. I probably get a toxic off. Either I get a toxic off, or I click. Will-O-Wisp. Or, sorry. If I, or, if I get a Toxic off, or I click Wish. I think Toxic is always going to be slightly better. Although, getting a Heal Bell would allow me to kind of take on the Dragapult slightly better. Probably just get a Toxic off. Let me see. How much damage does Moonblast realistically get off here? It's up. I think I just get some... Because because I, I, I'm not going to prevent rocks anyway, right? I think I just have to hope that I can defog them away later. And... By this... Uh, I probably have to let this thing go down, right? Mudsdale with Heavy Slam on it. Just does so much damage to Aromatisse. And I don't even outspeed. Maybe I should have put some thought into outspeeding this thing. But it was a tough call to make. It would have been a tough call to make. This thing always makes sense. Yeah, I think this thing always makes sense. It does withdraw, which is very interesting to me. Okay. Okay. This lets me Volt Switch every time, though. And not only does this let me Volt Switch, but if it's anything but the Dragapult... Then I get a free, a very free defog off. And if I get a free defog off, then it also means that it also, yeah, I don't think he ever goes into the horse though. But yeah, like I was saying, if it goes into anything but Dragapult, I get a free defog off, which also means I can potentially land a hurricane. So we'll see, we'll see how that works out. Let's go for a U-turn. That's fair. It's gonna do more than I like, but. Don't imagine... I mean, maybe the horse comes in. I don't know. It's tough to say. Maybe the horse comes in. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's interesting. I'm still not in the best position. <sighs> That's rough. Actually, I can go out into Gigalith now. And now this thing is kind of trapped in with me. Because if it swaps out, then 
it has to come back in on hazards, and if it stays in, then it goes down to the sand. Potential will o -Wisp coming in. Potential will o -Wisp coming in. I think, I think of anything, now is the moment where I try to sack off my... My... Oh, it just goes down right away. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's huge, that's huge. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. Now nothing outspeeds my Tornadus. Good, this thing, I actually don't think I care. I think I can let my Gigalith go down, right? Is there any reason not to let my Gigalith go down? I don't think, I don't think there is. Well, I potentially want to get rocks back up, right? Is there any switch that feels good here? Honestly, it's probably more worth it to, to let this thing go down. It's probably more worth it to let this thing go down. Is that true, though? I don't know. I don't think this thing ever gets a chance to do anything, right? Because it just gets outsped by everything, doesn't take it anymore. I think this is fine. This allows me to bring in Tornadus. Potentially Defog. Yeah, yeah, I think Defogging is important because Defogging will enable, um... Defogging will enable my Cinderace again. And as much as I need... As much as I need... Uh... The thing... As much as I need... This still feels strong to me. Here. It still feels strong to me. A Cinderace endgame... Could be super duper meaningful here. Uh, I wonder what I invite in here. I probably invite in the Scizor. That makes sense. If the scissor comes in, I probably go out in a Gigalith. Because Gigalith. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this is interesting. <sighs> I'm prankster. So it gets blocked. That's nuts. I did not see I did not expect that even a little bit. So I, so now I have to raw hit this. <laughs> What, what is this thing called? Um, what is this thing called? Obstagoon. Obstagoon, Obstagoon, Obstagoon. Against Tornadus. I probably don't KO this thing, but after... After burn and or... After burn and or... Sand, this thing probably goes down. But this just sucks because I have to land this. I have to land this. We do land it. That is a huge relief. That's a huge, huge relief. And it gets confused. Okay, if... Okay, as much as I don't want to wish for it, I kind of wish for it. It does hit itself. Yeah, okay. Okay, it does hit itself. So what does that mean for me? It means I now guaranteed get, get a defog off if I still want one. And I think I still want one, right? I'm pretty positive I still want one. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, what else does it mean for me? What else does it mean for me? I think now is where I give up Gigalith, right? Uh, I could still defog. Because I get I would get the defog off before he gets a chance to... To... No, but I think I always... I think I have to... Give this thing up, right? I, though he almost certainly clicks, clicks u turn but yeah I yeah it's because of the dang mud seal the mud seal is making it super difficult for me the mud seal is making it really really difficult for me in all honesty I really need Vicable to still be up for the mud seal which sucks because it really needs to also deal with a scissor 
Let's roll a punch. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, let me make sure of something. Scizor. Against Excadrill. Rocks are still up, which sucks. But I have to roost. I have to roost. Uh, oh, I probably sh I should should have gone into extra drill. Now that I'm looking at this damage, I definitely should have gone into extra drill. I have to click roost. Because you never go straight out into into. I keep wanting it to, to. I keep wanting to call it Little Sebastian because I know that's what he nicknames it. That's what he nicknames it. But I think he wants to go straight into Keldeo. But I don't think you ever do that, right? I think I think going straight into Keldeo would have been your best play. But I, I that's such a difficult play to make in this scenario when Volt Switch is really really free for me. I have a ton of available plays, right? And it, and it's difficult. I think roosting is always going to be the best play, though. I'm st I'm still blown away. I really need to know if, if that was intentional, whether or not he was he was intentionally breaking my uh, clicking defog. Or sorry, he he intentionally tried to break my defog by going out into the obstagoon. And if it's and if it is intentional, that just broke the game wide open. Because I didn't even have to be prankster, right? If that, that was just not an interaction that I even thought about, right? So let's go into this, which is probably best case scenario for me, to be completely honest. It's probably honestly best case scenario. Because now, honestly. Now I think Exodrill gets a rapid spin up and wins. I think. I think that's true. Next time Scizor's in, I rapid spin and I win. I'm almost positive. But there's no doubt I, I click Energy Ball here. And yeah, this game was clearly blown wide open. By... That's a ton of damage. By the... I don't know. It's tough to say. Does he miss a rock? He missed a rock. That's that's tough. That's brutal. But I don't think it ever truly matters. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter for my decision making, right? Or does it, right? Is, is there a switch that's worth making? Probably not, right? He could go... Yeah, no. There, there's no switch ever worth making. Um, Now that I know... I guess... I guess the one thing that I would be concerned about is Aqua Jet on the on the Keldeo. That would put a damper in my whole situation with with um with Exodrill. But I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, if if nothing else, th this entire Exodrill kind of gambit mainly works because. The obstacle went down like that. Um, I guess I guess it's probably not true because, yeah, I don't know. It is tough, and and it and it, and it honestly mostly sucks because this would have been so different if I just brought um, if I just brought uh, what's that thing called? Uh, Oh, it was for flip turn. Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, this would have been super different if I had just brought the thing. Uh, I don't know. Regardless, I think this Volt Switch just always means that I go for Exit Girl and just win it from there, right? 
I don't, I don't think there's any reason to do anything else. Is there? I don't know. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Let me just think out one thing. Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. I know this thing, this scissor. I don't think this thing is too, too offensive. Uh, and when it comes to the Cinderate. Cinderate should take a bullet punch even after rocks. I think. But this is always probably correct. Uh, he probably clicks bullet punch just for the chip damage. I click rapid spin. Earthquake twice, and that should be the game. And if it's not, then... I think this is correct. I think this is correct. That's all I can say. I think this is correct. Uh, probably is clicking knockoff here, which is not great for me. But, I understand it. Superpower. Okay. Yeah, I should... That's rough. That's rough. However, this ensures that I take a... Did I just choke the game? No, because I was going to this and click roost. I was going to this and click roost. Yeah. I honestly could have just choked the game. That's right. I really thought that the most he would have to hit me is, is knockoff. Right? Because if, if he clicks knockoff, I take the hit. And I take it from there. But I honestly expected the most this thing to have would be... Would be, uh... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's rough. But let's see. I think... Volt Switch... This is actually not good. Cause I because I don't stay in here. I have to click Volt Switch, right? Oh, but this thing is also really weak now. But if he if he makes a switch now, then that's wrong. Click Roost again, okay. Oh no, I go into Cinderace now. I go into Cinderace now, for sure, for sure. I think I have to bring it down to last Mon Vickable. Especially now, I think I think this is gonna incentivize him to want to go out into into the into the Keldeo, which means that I can go out into Cinderace, and now that it's uh, super powered itself down, it means I can take a bullet punch. I can take a bullet punch. And as long as I end up with last Mon Vickable, then I think I just win it from here. I might have to ban myself into Pyroball, which isn't which is not ideal. I just have to hope that I that um the Keldeo is in two hit range. But I think I'm okay in that regard and I think we get it we get out of here. I think we get out of here. With potentially two Pyroballs. Uh but let's see. I think I think I should take a bullet punch. And if he makes any switches out into Keldeo. Yeah, there's no other play worth making. And I'm almost out of time, but I think I'm going to be able to get this match in. I can only hope. I can only hope that I can get this match in uh, super duper quickly. It does withdraw. I don't think Keldeo takes two hit. Takes two. Um. Banded hits, but I guess we'll see. This look could be pretty bulky. I have to land two power balls in a row, but yeah, that should be it. That's a tough one, actually. Actually, yeah, now it's probably all messed up. But I have to, I have to keep doing this, right? And then 
I think I can go out into Tornadus. I can collect Grass Knot. I got... Mm, this doesn't make sense either. This allows in my Vigavolt, though. If I go down, this allows in the Vigavolt. I click Volt Switch. I, I pick up one of the KOs. Doesn't quite KO, but that's fine, I think. Uh, this also allows me to go out into... Into Tornadus and click Grass Knot, right? Or is it more worth it to click Volt Switch? I think it's always more worth it to click Volt Switch. Yeah, I think it's always more worth it to click Volt Switch. Because... Vicka Volt, yeah, just always takes a hit. I can Volt Switch. And... Oh, this is so stressful. This is so, so stressful. I'm sweating, but it's also because wearing this thing was a complete mistake. Uh, it is very... It, it, it just very suddenly became became hot in my room. And, uh... Man, we might... We might be in range of I think I might have thrown this game completely. I might have thrown this game completely. I may have thrown this game completely. In all honesty. However, 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 my, my one saving grace, right, is that I don't think this... The Scizor is the most offensive. I don't think it's completely, like, adamant, right? I think it's somewhat bulky. And if it is somewhat bulky... If it is somewhat bulky, then I think I'd take a hit. Just in case of anything, I have to click Hurricane. But I think I just get KO'd by Bullet Punch. And I think as long as I have... I think this thing might be bulky, and I think I take a hit. If I have more than 73... Well, no, I don't think I have more than 73 HP. Oh my god, okay. I think this means that even if this thing... Oh no, I think I always take a hit. I have to click... I have to click Roost. Um, but yeah, Superpower... Superpower... Bullet Punch... We'll see what... We'll see what its best move did me with. U-Turn. We should be out of range of a U-Turn. Just barely. Just, just barely. Hey everyone, I just wanted to step in a couple days later because a lot of the rest of this match is literally going to be both of our bugs kind of roosting and trying to hit each other, but we both do about like 40 short time to each other and it doesn't ever really materialize as to much until I eventually go down a timer. Now, I just wanted to come in and explain what my thought process is in those last final turns because... I talk a lot in, in in the slide comment about how I think I choked, and I never really laid out my thought process, so I just kind of want to talk through what that was, and in what ways that final sequence was a bit of a joke. So when I did bring in that extra drill in front of that scissor, superpower was honestly one of the last things that I was considering. In my head, the strongest moves that it would have to hit me would be a knockoff into a bullet punch, which in my head I took pretty well. So I knew there were a couple different paths to victory, but in my head the cleanest one was I just click rapid spin, I get up more speed, and then I earthquake twice, KO the Scizor, and then KO the Keldeo once I have more speed, and that ends the game, right? I thought that would be the cleanest, simplest way to win. That kind of gives Jay the least chances to win. However, as soon as the x goes down, I didn't realize in the moment just how limited my options were, especially when I kind of had to go in and try to do things with Cinderace to end the game from there. And it did honestly come with a little bit of another mini choke, but I was, at that point I was so on tilt from the first one that uh, I realized later on that if I bring my Cinderace in after the extra goes, goes down, I can then go for some high jump kicks, and because I'm banded and I have to kind of choose whatever I have to do, and obviously I collect Pyroball and Keldeo took them much better than I than I expected in that moment. If I had gone for high jump kick, that actually would have chunked down the Scizor, but assuming that he makes the same play and he switches out into Keldeo, high jump kick would have had the ability to actually get that two hit KO, and then with that Keldeo gone, then it's kind of Scizor against the world. If anything, at that point, um, hopefully I, I, I would have realized that I don't have to quite risk anything w w with high jump kick i could probably switch out into the tornadoes sack that off because that uh didn't have any further roll i can go back into cinderace hopefully land a pyro ball and then that also wins again i was thinking through those types of scenarios but in my head uh i wanted to simplify things and my way of simplifying things was thinking i rapid spin up i earthquake twice that should be the game 
and then he just really surprised me by by bringing the superpower there and like i said i did mock this once but even with my mock partner superpower really surprised him and yeah, it was just not something that i had in my head in the moment obviously that, that was a joke but i just wanted to explain that especially because that informs pretty much everything that happens from here on out but that's just kind of how, how these things go sometimes it's going to come down to a win and in scenario in the final week man oh man that just doesn't feel good. All right, I guess that's the game. I'm gonna say GG, man. That's brutal. I choked it so all I had to do was click EQ. The only thing I had to do was click EQ, but I wanted that rapid spin so I could win the game with extra girl. I didn't expect him to have superpower. I truly, truly did not expect him to have superpower. I truly didn't. That's gonna be the game. It was as close as it could have been. I feel awful about the choke. I feel awful about the choke. Man, oh man. Did that not go how I expected? I really, really tried as much as I could. But to lose on timer, man. I'm not entirely sure, but that might be the first time that I've ever lost a timer. And man, does it not feel great. But with that thing, guys, so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the UBL, as well as other stuff to come really, really soon. But once again, with that thing, guys, so much for watching. Once again, out.